This week's word of the week is going to be sugaring. See, I got it written right here. And this came about again because I was going on about sugaring this, sugaring that, and then somebody finally looked at me and said, well, what exactly is sugaring? So on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not that big of a deal, 10 being a big deal, if you don't know what sugaring is, it's probably like a 5 or a 6. So I'm going to write 5 here. If you're in the welding world and you don't know what sugar is, it's not the end of the world, but you should know what it is. If you deal with stainless steel a lot, you're going to know what it is. I looked up, um, as I thought about it, I thought, is sugaring a slang term or is it a real term? And um, I went to the stainless steel AWSD 1.6 um, structural stainless steel welding code, and I looked all over it and I couldn't find that term. But there is the term oxidation, which I think is the proper term for it, because that's all it is. It's ox oxidation on the back side of a stainless steel weld. Usually it happens a lot with TIG, eighth inch or smaller, you know, thin stuff, because all it is is really burn through, right? So your welding on the other side is, is getting liquid and it causes oxidation, but they call it sugaring. Everybody in the industry calls it sugaring. Everybody knows it as sugaring, but the reality is it's oxidation on the back side. So it's basically, there's no shielding gas on the back of the weld and then that causes the oxidation. So let's see what do we got here. Um, stainless recovered oxidation, rejectable defect. So a lot of times if they see sugaring on a stainless part, they're going to reject it because it's, it can affect the corrosion resistance, things like that. And in sanitary applications, which is uh, stainless is done a lot with because, you know, obviously it doesn't rust. So sanitary applications, if there is any kind of sugaring, it's a rejectable defect because bacteria can get in it. And usually when you're talking sanitary, you're talking food or something like that. So it is a rejectable defect in most cases. Not always, but in most cases, it's a rejectable defect. Uh, like I said, it's just burned through. So the causes, and there's one cause. It's too hot, right? Your, your welding is too hot. It's bleeding through the other side. So the fix is, obviously, the first one, turn your heat down, right? So you turn the heat down to keep it from actually bleeding through the other side. Another fix that you can do is put um, a back gas on it, or a back purge, and I was welding a robotic milker the other day, and it was a stainless steel part, and it was broke, paper thin, and I had tinfoil all around it with a back purge going through it. And uh, I had a bunch of people where they were wandering by going, what are you doing with that? So my next video is going to be on what a back purge is because they didn't know what that was either. It's basically putting argon behind the part, so if you do bleed through, it doesn't get that sugaring effect. It'll actually look just like a shielded weld is what it'll look like. So if, if you can't, um, get the heat down enough to not burn through, put a back gas on it. Put argon on the back side of it and you'll be good to go. So it's a very common thing too. So I'm going to go out in the lab here now. I'm going to go to the stainless steel um, bin, grab some welds out of it, and I almost guarantee that I can find a good example of sugaring in no time because people, you can have the best weld in the world, but if you flip it over and you have sugaring on the back, that's no good. You have a rejectable defect on there. So. We're going to go out in the lab, look for some parts, see if we can find some examples of sugaring. All right, so I found two examples of sugaring pretty quick. This is quite a bit, not a huge amount. That's the back side. You can see it's bled through, and it looks kind of nasty. I did want to mention that um, I didn't find it in a code book, but I did find the term all over the Internet. So if it is a slang term, it's a commonly used slang term. That's a pretty good example. And then I have a severe example here I'm gonna show you right now. This is a 16th of an inch stainless. It's a fillet weld that I bent over. Really thin stuff, that's why it's so bad, but that is extreme sugaring. It looks really nasty. So hopefully that explains what sugaring is. You now know what that means when you hear it. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Well, and we will see you next time. We're out.